Hel Hello and welcome back. Today I've got another hundred pounds worth of 10 P's to go through. Um, it came in a weird looking bag. I don't normally get these kind of bags from my bank. Um, so maybe that'll bring us some more luck. And you can see there's some loose ones in there, but they are bagged bagged. So these are probably from circulation, put paid into the bank and then moved around the banks through the cash centre. So we may get more luck with that because I don't feel that the seal bags are going to be much luck. Uh, for the time being with the way that they are coming from the cash center so we're looking for some alphabet 10 piece i do have one already although i didn't get it in a hunt so i'm not including it in my little collection book when we get to, uh, the first of our ones uh, through these videos because it's given to me by a relative they found it in her change and actually um found two of the same ones and gave me one of them so i was really chuffed to get that that's just to show you what we are looking out for um, in case we don't find anything, I did also find this. I posted it in the Discord. Um, you can just see around the bottom of the rim there. It seems to have been misstruck. Now someone did tell me what it was called. It was a... Um, it was an off-cantered, I think was the phrase that they used. Um, yeah, really cool. You can see it's normal around this side. Just around there. Looks like it's been misstruck, so I'll put that with my 50p uh, error, the rotation error one. Um, so I'll be answering more of your questions from the Q&A, uh, from from the Q&A posts. Uh, if you if you th have any questions you'd like to ask me, put them in the comment section of this video, and I'll add them to my big question bank, and I'll endeavour to answer as many as I can for you. So the fingers crossed, and let's get into the questions. So firstly, I'd just like to apologise, my last Q&A video I actually answered the same questions twice, I mixed up my audio files on the video and I'd already rendered it together and I couldn't split them out by that point. So uh, this is uh, some more questions from my last giveaway, not my current one. Um, so we'll start with Neo Statue 74 uh, who asks, what's your best find in just one £10 bag of 50 pence pieces? Um, I did take a, I think it was two bags I had out, so uh, £20 worth of 50p's, and they were all Olympics, every single last one of them. Uh, so it must have been a collector that had brought them in. Um, obviously I found a Kew Gardens, ages and ages and ages ago, I found a Kew Gardens before I started making videos, which again, maybe ties or comes close to that one. Um, next question from Joanne Wood. What 50p and £2 coins do you think are going to go up more in the future? Um, 50p's Isaac Newton, there's quite a low mintage and I'm seeing less and less of them. I think the Beatrix Potters are always going to go up eventually, although they are very common, especially 2017 ones. Um, but £2 coins, what well, £2 coins going to go up? The Olympic ones, again Olympics are always important, so the Olympic Centenary, Rio Handover, um, and the London uh, London Handover I reckon will go up. Um, next question from Stoke Slots Gaming Channel. What is the next Q Gardens out of circulation? It's going to be one of some of these Alphabet 10 P's, I guarantee you, because it's got less minted value than the 2018 ones. Um, I'm not sure if there's plans to mint more for next year. Um, I quite like the idea of maybe the next year they'll change it over and keep, keep they're going to keep them less common in circulation to keep us hunting for them. Um, George O'Neill. If you found Q Gardens, what would you do? Oh man, I would be so happy. I have already found one, so it's not going to be the first time I ever find a Q Gardens, but I think any time anyone finds a Q Gardens, we'd be dancing in the streets. Um, K Crispy 2009P asks, do you have a lucky coin and what is it? Um, I don't have a specific lucky coin. I do have a lucky poker chip. So I like playing. I, I like playing in little poker tournaments. Nothing professional or anything. Just as a little, like an, I don't know, uh, something something to do of an e of an evening. So I've been a couple of times to a town near me. It's got a casino. I went on my stag do to it, and we did a poker tournament. Um, and I've got a little poker chip with a little um, queen sticker. It's got the picture of them from the Miracle album, where they're all the faces all sort of melded in together. So that's so that is my um, sort of lucky token, I guess. Uh, next question comes from mrad1977. What is your favourite error coins? Um, oh, it's got to be like the new pound coins, I think they were, or these the two pound coins, the like broken yoke ones, I think they're called, or some, something like that, where the middle bit has sort of, I don't know, been misstamped, or it looks like it's melted out of the middle, and it's all a weird shape, and I, th I think they look awesome. Um, but I did get my, uh, my 50p that's got a rotation error, which 
you guys um, i'm really grateful for you you told me what it was that was wrong with it and i think that was quite cool um jack montgomery asked do you collect territories um i, I, I yeah i've got i've got quite a few of them i don't throw them away apart from maybe the jersey and guernsey ones that you know that the ones with the flowers and the ones with that is it like a stone arch on it if I get the same year I'll just pay them back in because I see lots of them but the other ones I really like the Isle of Man ones you guys have been posting pictures of them and they look really cool um Daz Harvey asks do you have favorite territories um, oh it's Isle of Man they they're so pretty some of the Isle of Man coins that we've that we found or that have been posted onto the um discord so the was it the the royal wedding anniversary um, they just look so nice don't they but again we won't find them in circulation uh, Lauren Collins asks, do you have any Manx coins? Uh, I have a few, uh, not, not an awful lot of them, but again, the more of them I can get, the better. Devilish Designs asks, do you collect silver coins? Um, I don't have any silver coins in my collection, so I don't actually buy them from, um, from the post office or from the mint. I like collecting out of circulation, although I have got some foreign coins. A big bundle of them that I bought that was just a failed, vid failed video, I didn't like it so I didn't do it, but I am actually planning to do something different with them, which will be up during this week to see if you guys like that. But yeah, they're, again, they're a bit pricey, um, but I don't know, maybe maybe in the future if there was one I really liked, potentially. Uh, Bob C-W asks, do you collect coins from other countries? I don't actively seek out coins from other countries. I had a little collection that was, that was uh, given to me as part of my uh, my nana's late my nana's late husband's um, estate. She was going to chuck them all away. There was that and a bunch of stamps. That's where I started collecting stamps from. Um, but I've got a whole I had a massive great big pot of uh, foreign foreign coins that I still think I think I still got in my storage unit where a bunch of my stuff is. Um, and I've got a big bag of them that I'm going to try and do a video next week on about it. So I hope you like that. <gasps> we got one! No way! Oh my good golly. You don't know how happy that makes me. Oh my goodness, we got one! We got one! Woohoo! Ah, oh, man, I am so happy. Uh, Chris H asks, what do you think of American coin roll hunting? Uh, I'm very jealous of it, if I'm honest. I really, really like it. It looks really fun, and the fact that you've got so many sort of old, um, older coins and silver coins, um, and I liked having like that. I used to collect when I worked in retail the state quarter coins. So every time, time someone would hand it over as a 10p, and most people would say, "Hang on, this isn't a 10p," um, but I would quite happily take it and just swap it out for change in my pocket because uh, I really, really liked the state coins. Um, Wolf Blessed asks if we sent international coins would you do a video on them um it's tricky in that i can't really give my address out being as i'm a coin hunter i know majority of you guys watching the video aren't going to come and rob me um but i don't really want people coming to my door and i don't want i don't know a, a potential burglar finding out where i live to come and rob my house if that makes sense um, so there isn't sort of a way for you to send them. A lot of people have been asking about a P.O. box. Now I'm looking into that, um, but that's a question I'll turn back on you guys. Um, if I if I had a P.O. box, would you send me things? Because um, again, it feels a bit I don't know, unscrupulous to um, have coins sent to you. It's different for if you had like I don't know, a Pokemon card collecting channel where um, they're sending you they're sending you Pokemon cards because it's I don't know whatever value a Pokemon card is. But if you're actually physically sending me money. I would feel a bit bad about it but I don't know let, let me know in the comments on this video what you would think of a PO box and again I don't know we've got 5,000 subscribers which is absolutely cracking but um would it get would it get used that much I don't know maybe maybe it's something worth trialing in the future uh Utopic Furkler asks have you Ottoman Empire money or Turkish money uh so in my big pot of um, foreign coins. I have some Turkish coins, but I don't think I have any Ottoman Empire coins. I imagine they would be 
pretty cool. I've never sort of seen any of them, so um, if you're not on the Discord, come and join the Discord and, and uh, come and show me. Uh, fantastic. Bob asks, is there anything else you collect? Um, I mean, I collect stamps, um, although they're all in the storage unit. I haven't touched them for crumbs that's coming up for almost a year now, but um, yeah, so I collect stamps. Um, I, I, I'm a massive Star Wars fan, so I've got, I don't think I've ever thrown away anything Star Wars in my life, so I've got things from, I have actually got a little collection of the Gentle Giant mini, minibus, so the Imperials, that really interest me. Um, and my wife bought me one a couple of Christmases ago, Grand Admiral Thrawn, who's my favourite character that's from the books, and actually is now back into the actual canon, which um, I was over the moon when she got me that one. Um, I guess my t-shirt, my Star Wars t-shirts, I can't help myself. When you're in Primark or you're in Tesco's and you see a Star Wars t-shirt, I'm like, oh, I like that. And I get them for Christmas and birthday, so um, Star Wars Pez dispensers I really like, but again, I won't buy them online. I have to buy, them. I have to find them in shops for it to be, for me to buy it. Um, anything else I collect? I don't, I don't think so. Um, I'm a bit of a, a bit of a collecting type. My wife calls me a hoarder. Um, because I can't just have one of them. That's why when you guys posted me pictures when I suggested Star Wars commemorative coins in my last video, although that would never happen because it's not English, um, you were posting pictures of those New Zealand coins that have got Star Wars on it, and oh, they look so nice. But my problem is if I get one, I want them all, and yeah, I can't, I can't afford that. I did have a, I did have Pokemon cards when they first came out, so the the base set, um, and I think we had we, my mum and dad bought my brother and I a big booster box of jungle uh, the jungle set as well and I had to, I'm sure I had some of the fossil ones um, again it's not something I collect at the moment and but it is something that I kind of, I, I, I watch the odd video of Pokemon card on openings because it I mean it, it, it brings takes you way back to the 90s when I was a kid and I was opening Pokemon cards myself um, Harry Higgs asks do you have other hobbies um, I, YouTube is like my biggest hobby at the moment because um, the amount of time I sink into making, editing, uh, uploading videos, replying to comments, running the Discord server, although I must say the, the mods we've got, I think we're up to what, four mods now, you, they're all fantastic, they're all amazing, uh, uh, I'm very grateful for all the hard work you do on the server as well, but I, try, I like to be interactive with you guys, on because we're although we've got 5,000 subscribers, which is a huge amount in my mind, I'm still able to uh, reply to all of your comments or, com or talk to you in the Discord, which I think is really nice. Um, but other hobbies, uh, I, I, I play video games a bit, well, so um, when I was at university, up until fairly recently to be fair, I was a massive uh, fan of RuneScape, and I played that from like the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed for many, many, many years. Um, and I played Minecraft since it was launched, and I can I dip in and out of that, and I, I quite like the, the modded, the, um, it was Tech it was the modded Minecraft that I played, I'm a bit behind on the ones now, but um, other than that, I haven't really got much, I don't have much time for sort of video games at the moment, I don't really carve out enough time for myself to play. Um, other hobbies, I, I really like movies, we had the unlimited passes to go to the cinema and I go see every single movie that came out because the problem is from time to time there'll be a film that comes out and you look at the advert or the trailer and think mm, that looks okay but is it worth I don't know, £10 to go to the cinema to watch it to be annoyed and then start steam out of the cinema in a, in a huff so at least the unlimited ones I could go see every film and it didn't matter if I was disappointed I could just walk out and go home. John HW one hundred KT asks the Britannia two pound. How rare are they? Um, I'm guessing you mean the, the it's the twenty fifteen Britannia. Uh, they are. I think it was, was three hundred fifty thousand minted. Off the top of my head, now the mintage values are not my speciality. I'm so bad at remembering them, but um, they're fairly uncommon. I mean, I keep them. They they hold more than face value. I think it's three to five pounds worth of value on them. Um, so if I found them, I would keep them. Um, and we'll finish this video off with Abs Secular Clark, who asks, what's the first Olympic you found? I think it was Olympic Aquatics. I remember I used to work in a news agent whilst I was at university. And when would that have been? 2000 and... Um, hold on a minute, I've got to work this out. Um, it must be around the time of the Olympics, actually, around 2000. 12 it must have been there then i think if, I, if my maths and my memory is uh, recalling correctly um and yeah i found an olympic aquatics i didn't actually keep it because we had we the amount of like kids and parents that were coming asking do we, have you got any olympics can we can we swap any out for you i remember having a an archery one as well 
um, but I, I swapped it with uh, these kids that were coming into the hunt, hunting for them. So yeah, kind of gutted. Like I, I, I don't, I, there's always that worry that maybe that maybe that one was the one with the water over the face, the era, the one that's like over a thousand pounds of value. It's like oh no, don't please don't be that one. Um, but we'll call it um, at that question, and we'll get back to the coins now. Right, so we're going to go through the lines and look for any of the key dates. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. So what did we find? We got a 5p. It's kind of annoying. But oh well. We got two Jersey 10ps. Is it 2012-92? So they're interesting. But the star pool. My first A to Z. A to Z, alphabet 10p, with the letter P, and I could not be happier with that. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye!